Hey everyone, this is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. My name is Terry G. And if you could take a second, can you please hit that subscribe button? And don't forget to slam that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks again for stopping by. What I want to talk about today, I want to talk about is your partner or do you think your partner has a drinking problem? And in this video, I'm going to point out a few things that I did to my partner when I was out there actively drinking alcohol, when I was in an active alcoholism state, okay? That's what we're gonna talk about today. What a beautiful day out here in Ottawa. Nice and cool, about 25 Celsius. Just a perfect, perfect day. Okay, the first one I wanna talk about, I always hid my drinking from my partner. So if your partner is hiding his or her drinking from you, like saying, I gotta stay home, I gotta stay at work late, and you know, or you feel like they're drinking, or I'm just gonna go over to my buddy's place, or I'm gonna help him build something, uh, help him build a deck, or do some lawn care, but you know that they're over there drinking. So if your partner is like me, when I was actively drinking, that I always hid my drinking from my partner, because I didn't want them to know how much I was drinking. I really didn't. That was like my business. No one else has the right to know except me. Meanwhile, I was destroying my family. That's what I was doing. A second one is, is that if your partner always seems to drink over the top. So you go out for dinner, maybe to the in-laws house, maybe to a wedding or a stag, whatever it may be, and your partner is, seems to be the one that always drinks way too much, always drinking over the top. They just can't sit down and have one or two beers. They gotta have 10 or 20 beers and just get hammered. So if you see that, your partner may be having uh, alcohol, it may have alcoholism, believe it or not, or having a problem with drinking, okay? These signs that I'm telling you are just general but they're pretty they're pretty damn accurate they really really are another one is that you may be experiencing financial difficulties in your home okay that's one thing that i did and that's one thing i was very ashamed of i drank all the family money on booze i really did there was not enough money for grocery there wasn't enough money for entertainment or going out i drank hundreds of dollars worth of alcohol each month and I didn't tell anybody. So maybe you're experiencing some financial difficulties and you know or you feel that it's because of your partner's drinking. And I just have a couple more examples to give you before I end the video. Another one is, is that they may become offensive when you ask them about their drinking. You know, are you drinking too much, Terry G? You know, I think you're drinking too much at the party last night. And they get angry and upset at you. That is a major, major indicator that there is a problem here when it comes to alcoholism. Another example that your partner may be experiencing alcohol addiction is that his lack of interest in family stuff, like going to see his son or daughter at the soccer game, you know, practicing soccer, that kind of stuff. Being interested in the family affairs, when there's a big problem, he seems or she seems disengaged from the family. That might be a sign that your partner is addicted to alcohol. And let me tell you something, that is a very, very frustrating sign, believe me, if you're not getting a response from your partner in your daily life because he's, he or she is too distracted with her disease of alcoholism. And the last one is, is weight loss. I know when I drank, I, at the end of my drinking, I weighed 155 pounds. As I speak to you in this video, I weigh 210 pounds and I'm six foot one. So I experienced extreme weight loss issues due to my alcoholism. All I did was drank, I ate barley sandwiches, they used to call them, we used to, we used to laugh at that. What'd you have for dinner last night, Terry G? Oh, I had a barley sandwich, ha ha ha. But meanwhile, my health declined and the biggest thing that was noticeable in my decline of my health was weight loss. I lo I'm, a, I'm 75 pounds heavier now than when I came into uh, recovery, believe it or not. And I'm a lot healthier too, in all my ways, you know, emotional, spiritual, mentally, physically, in all areas of my life. My life is better since I quit alcoholism. 
quit, quit alcoholism <laughs> since I quit active addiction to alcohol. I'm still an alcoholic. I just don't drink. I just don't drink on a daily basis. This video is just an example, just to build awareness. I've left a list below in the description of more examples that you may see in your partner if they're struggling being addicted to alcohol, okay? Just remember, you can call your local addiction office in your, in your city. There's usually just call the city. They'll point you in directions for resources. If you're experiencing addiction in the family, you can call Alcoholics Anonymous. I'll leave the number below. There's a, there's a general service office in New York. You can reach out to them. There's Alateine, there's Al-Anon, there's AA. There's all sorts of treatment and all sorts of resources in your community. It is not a death sentence, alcoholism. It is not the end of your relationships. It's not the end of anything. It can be a new beginning for a great life because it was a new beginning for my life. It was devastating at the beginning, but it was a new one and it was a great thing that happened to me. The best thing that ever happened to me was to become a recovering alcoholic, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Or if you could take another second, can you please hit that subscribe button? I'd really appreciate it. But just remember, we're all in this together. Together, we can stay sober. Together, we can build a great life for each other, okay? So I'll see you next week. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Stay safe, stay sober, stay strong. Ciao for now. Bye for now.